This is a fog map, a simple representation of Perlin noise. You can see that it looks like a blurred image. Each color represents a value. Imagine the white is a higher value and the black is a lower value. We can use these values to create terrain. Today we will be using an article by Ego Moose to make the triangles in the terrain. The link to it will be in the description. First, create a script in the workspace. Create a variable called seed and set it to a random number between 1 and 100,000. Then let's make some variables for the width of our triangles. Now we can create three more variables for the size, height, and chunk size. Now copy and paste Ego Moose's triangle script. Pause here to copy it. There is a typo so if you copy and paste it make sure to fix it. Make a function called make points with the parameters x and z. Make a new variables called a pos x and a pos z do this for b, c, and d make sure your values for them are the same as mine or your script may not work. Now for the fun part. The Perlin noise. Create variables called noise A, B, C, and D. Dividing the X and the Z will make the noise bigger or smaller depending on the value and multiplying the noise by height will make the noise taller. Let's make the points now. Make variables called A, B, C, and D set them as a vector 3 value and set the Y value to the noise for that letter and not seed. Let's use the draw 3D triangle function and make our triangles. Again set the middle value of A, B, C, and D to the noise variable for that letter. Let's make variables for the X and Z. Create a function called make chunk. To build the terrain in not just two triangles we will make a for loop for the X and Z. Lastly, we can run our function. Let's play the game. Yay! It works. Please like, and subscribe. This is my first programming video I hope you like it. Prepare for loud music.